If you're a Palm user or a Pocket uh, PDA user, you're probably aware of Pocket PC Microsoft's entry into it. These things can be pricey. The prices are dropping, though. In fact, there are some that are uh, now around two and three hundred dollars. Tech TV Labs technical analyst Han Choi has taken three of the lower-priced Pocket PC devices and put them to the test. Han, welcome. It's good to have you. It's nice being back. We're going to look at three different Pocket PC devices. What three are we going to take a look? Okay, at? the one you're holding is the uh, HP iPad. I think this is H beautiful. H nineteen ten. It's small. It's thin. How it's much? It's super small. It's three hundred bucks. Good price. Yeah, it's a great price. Um, it has a two hundred megahertz X scale processor. Okay, now that's key. It's two hundred megahertz X scale. How much RAM? Um, this is the issue. There's okay. There's 64, 64 megabytes of RAM. Yeah. And which is only forty uh, eight is or forty six is usable. Some of it's used by the operating exactly. system. Exactly. But and the, the thing is, but the the problem is the ROM in the ROM side. There's only sixteen megabytes. So there's Windows Media Player, Transcriber. Those applications are loaded. You have to load them separately. Into RAM. Which means you consume the RAM. So, so you can save money SC. because it's a lower price device because you get less. But RAM. you know the screen looks great. It's really right. small. One of the small, the smallest one we've seen so far in Pocket PC. Everybody was very excited when Dell announced it was getting into the race. This is the Axim A X I M. A little bigger, a little clunkier. Tell me about. Tell me about this one. They actually have two models. This is a high-end one. This is a 400 megahertz processor. This is 400 megahertz. The 400 megahertz That's processor. That's not going to be cheap. It's 350 bucks. Well, that's amazing. That's not bad for the advanced version. You can actually get th uh, the 300 megahertz version for 100 bucks. I think I paid 500 for my uh, uh, pocket yeah, PC. It's come out a lot. Yeah. The, the big thing is the screens are beautiful on these. Two. Really nice. Um, are the, these transflective now? Yeah, they, which means they're not back. They're not lit by those fluorescent in the back. No, it's, not anymore. It goes so, right through. so it's a lot crisper. Much the, the colors are really nice. Yeah. Um, you've got dual expansion on it, though, which is nice, compact flash and SD. So you've got two slots exactly. for memory. Yeah, which so you nice. might use a compact flash, say, for a wireless card and still have room to put more RAM into it's, the thing. That's one thing. The compact flash has a lot more accessories right now. Right, SD is coming, right. but the I.O. standard is, is just really getting to roll. So it's, that's, it's, it's, that's the it's action. Nice. This is ViewSonic's low-cost entry. Yeah, this is the uh, V35. It's $300. Um, they, they have 64 megabytes in here as well. It's a 300 megahertz processor, 64 megabytes. Okay. However, however, only 36 megs is usable. Again, same problem as you same had with problem. the low-end iPad. Exactly. So, which, which, but this one, this one, I really didn't care for this one because it just didn't feel solid. It's right. just it. It's really small, though. It's really light compared to what it looks like. It is like. very light. It's, it's, it's very the same light. weight as the iPad, actually. So show us, you run, you've run some benchmarks on these. We're going to see the numbers in a second. But what are the benchmarks that you can run on these? Well, you know, we thought about it. And what could you really do? Because for right. most PDA functions, you're not going to notice. Right. But th th we figured video. So you're running video Why on Why not? Yeah. We're using a DivX Pocket DivX player. Okay. Pull down some MPEG-1 and some... Um, uh, DivX files and just play them. See what, so, and, and so it'll tell you how many frames it drops. This is actually, I'm going to press the play button here. And this is actually some movie, right? We're going to see a little bit of a movie here. Yeah, I believe that's Ice Age. Ice Age. The, the, uh, All right, let's take so. a look at the numbers though, that you okay. got out of this because you basically used these and you came up with some numbers based on the performance you're running these DivX videos. Yeah, the, the really, really inter interesting one. Okay, this is the AVI playback. These, these are DivX files, actually. Okay, but and shorter is better. Shorter is better. This is the number of drop frames. So basically, if the processor can't keep up, they're going to drop frames to ke ke keep keep up. Easily, so, easily dealt. Well dealt. And you'd expect that. But look here, the 200 megahertz iPad beat the ViewSonic. Yeah, it's it drivers, chipsets, lots of issues. Let's um, see the next slide. The next one is MPEG playback. Okay. Um, Different from DivX somehow. Uh, MPEG is a lot bigger. DivX is a bit uh, high, more compression. Dell so wins again. Rate, yeah, exactly. So we really have to downgrade the ViewSonic. It's slower and yeah. it's kind of cheesy. Well, it's not the faster processor. That's the interesting thing. Yeah. It's not just you can't just look at pro it's, it's like a desktop stuff. system. You can't just say, hey, processor alone. There's there's. You're spending your money. Which one do you like? I prefer the Dell value Go because with the I want the dual expansion. I want the um, you know it is bulky though. The size is a lot bigger. And get the high end, the 400 megahertz, De definitely for now. 50 bucks. Han Choi, thank you so much. We've got a whole article at thescreensavers.com describing it all and uh, his full review and analysis and numbers too. Stay where you are, folks. More screensavers action still to come right after this quick break. Don't go anywhere now.